Yo, how's it going everybody? How are you doing, small? How's everybody, do how's everybody doing on this fine day? We've got some more Curio SMP. Plenty more. Plenty more. We're never finished. And I don't think we will be anytime soon. Which is exactly the way I like it. I think... I think I'm streaming early enough that it won't be winter, which I'm very excited for. It's probably like mid-autumn right now on the server, I'm hoping. Um, because winter sucks. I'm alright, just kind of stressed for my math exam tomorrow. I feel that. Nice shirt. Thank you. Yeah, it's just one of my, like, many college shirts that I have sitting around. What is it? Late summer! Let's go! We got a whole ass season ahead of us that isn't winter. Alright, that's what we like to hear. So I did a lot of grinding yesterday off stream. Nothing really of like note for the most part. Just a lot of leveling up. That's new. Just a lot of leveling up from like crops and farm related stuff. I forget if I did this on stream. I did make a greenhouse and set up a greenhouse in the farm which is great. Also, let's go in here for a second. I level up my green thumb perk a lot which apparently you can go into the other tabs and actually get those skills. All that picking one does is it gives you bonus experience depending on what you do. So I pick mining so I get bonus experience from mining like ores and stuff. Combat is probably pretty self-explanatory. And crafting apparently you get like bonus EXP based on the amount of unique materials you use to craft something which is actually really cool. I kind of wish I picked crafting. Um, but we got mining and it's to the point now we're in my greenhouse, I can kind of watch my wheat grow, so we're gonna... Let's start by just harvesting the wheat so I can kind of show that off, because I think it's really funny. And it's still not fully maxed out, and this is just me. Like, I can only imagine what it would be like if I got, like, everybody in this village to max out this skill and just stand in this farm. I would imagine the wheat would grow practically instantly. Um, but you'll you'll see here soon once I clear this out like how quickly all this stuff grows like I I probably could stay in here forever at this point And always have like one wheat block to harvest just like moving from one singular wheat to the next um, That's not very efficient nor very fun, but it's cool that I kind of could So yeah, like look at that. There's no way I haven't harvested that harvested that already. It just goes so fast now the goal of this stream is not to continue mining wheat or to keep, like, harvesting XP from mobs in our farms. Like, I'm, we will still do that. We still like XP. But that's not the focus this time. We're doing some other stuff. So I did a lot of searching around trying to figure out what I wanted to craft, what I wanted to build to help power myself up. And I did a little bit of that off stream. In terms of like making some new stuff like I made this fancy dancy that's the wrong button it's E to go into my inventory I made this fancy dancy ring which gives me a bonus little speed boost which is kind of handy but there's another ring that I want to make at least I think it was a ring if I remember it's something that requires blaze rods now I hopped into the nether real quick because I think if you guys remember we discovered a nether portal close by so I just lit it and walked in to kind of see what was there and it was a very safe portal, but not a very convenient portal. Like, it wasn't very close to anything. So because of that, I don't really want to fuck around in the nether. But what we can do... What we can do... Is go to a lava pool, which I found one nearby. And farm some of the, like, ifrits and salamanders and stuff that spawn. And hopefully... Ooh, this should not be on in the summer. And hopefully, we'll get blaze rods that way. Get down, get down, get off my bed. Also, we have a lot of cockatraces. As you can imagine, grinding as much as I did yesterday, just like farming XP off of mobs, I picked up a lot of eggs, um, including rotten eggs. Which means, holy crap! Why are all the mobs dead? Is someone just killing them off without replenishing them? Like, what happens? What happens? All right, well, you know what? Maybe we will do a little bit of breeding real quick. God damn, that's really unfortunate. So when I logged off yesterday, and granted, I logged off at like five. I was grinding Curio like all day, just kind of like chilling on my own. These 
fences were packed with every single mob. Well, be between the three of the mobs. There's packed with sheep, packed with chicken, packed with pigs. Have you named the cockatrice? Small, I have so many cockatrices. Let's see. Just here alone, we have three. One there, one there. One there, one there. Got one in the house. I've got a lot. It's to the point where... <laughs> I don't know if there's a point in naming them. Um, we might pick a singular one and name it down the line, but we don't have an anvil yet anyway, so I'm not going to stress about it for now. We do have the name tags, though. So what we'll probably do is... I don't think we'll name the original one, because odds are, I think the original one actually died at some point defending me. But we'll name the one that's safe in the house. We'll name this guy at some point, because... I don't think he's going to die. I think he's pretty good there. I don't think we have to worry about him. So I just slept. It's daytime. Let's uh, let's level up a skill if I can. So I got my gathering up to 20. What I really wanted to do yesterday before this stream is get this perk, which I did. So now every enemy mob has a guarantee to drop at least one item, which I figured, hey, if we're farming ifrits and stuff for blaze rods on stream, why not get this perk first so we can actually have some fun with it a little bit? And next, I... I think I wanted to go into attack. I wanted to get Battle Spirit. This buff looks really, really good. Killing a monster will always give you a strength buff. We like that. We like to see that. So that's where we're at. I'm going to level up my strength a lot as well as... What were the other things linked to it? Attack, defense, agility. All of those we need to get up. And you know what? I need to get all those perks to 16 anyway. Besides agility, but whatever. So... It kind of works out, and I think mining is probably the least important to get to 16 right now. I don't really need to use a diamond pick for anything outside of, like, getting obsidian, and we have a lot of obsidian. Like, we don't need obsidian any time in the near future. Oh, crap. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll farm Ifrits on the next day. We'll, we'll take some time to replenish the farm, and I just want to, I want to repair this pickaxe because... What I discovered while running around is that there are big rocks with ore inside of them. So I actually got a lot of iron just from like digging out these rocks that were filled to the brim on the inside with ore. Hey, can you heal me? Can you heal me? Thank you. And my arms too. That's one. There we go. Thanks. So yeah, let's, let's make another pickaxe real quick. I think that'd be beneficial. I have done so much for this village. Let me just say... We were running so low on iron. I've gotten us up a couple stacks, although I see someone's been using them, which is good. Um, we have a crap ton of feathers now, as you can imagine. Oh, this is something I want. I remember what I wanted to make now. All right, here's the goal. Let, let, me, let me spell it out to you since we're not going to go out today anyway. We're going to wait until the next Minecraft day. Just take a little sip of water. So here's what we want to make. Uh, what is it? E so in here, let's look up baubles. There is this, right here. Obsidian Skull grants immunity to burning and 50% resistance to fire damage. Does not protect against lava. Now, the reason why I really like the look of this bobble is because it is a great way to counter dragons, of which there is one nearby. So, we've got Wither Skeleton Skulls and Skeleton Skulls, that's easy. We've got tons of obsidian, they drop from like trash mobs that spawn every now and then at nighttime or like just when they feel like shitting on you. And then everything else that I need is blaze powder. Like blaze powder here, and then the potions of fire resistance. Need a magma cream, which we can craft with blaze powder. Slime balls are free. You want to know why? Because this skill, this treasure hunting skill, I get slime balls just from digging up dirt now. Granted, it takes a little while. It's not the most common drop, but it's common enough where it's really not a big deal. Bobble's pog. You should get the bobble that prevents withering and also the sea stone. I probably will eventually so what i'm really excited about this bobble specifically for is you can actually this isn't the right thing how do i see it where is it crafting no 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 no, no. i want to craft with it i could have sworn you can use this bobble to craft another better bobble let let me see i know that there's a spot for it this oh so this doesn't take the obsidian skull but this is the ankh charm looks stupidly good now a lot of this stuff I can't get. The gold's easy. Let's see. The ring of free action. Oops. Oh, the ring of... I guess I can't craft that. 
Oh no, I need a shulker heart. Oh, that's like another step. So ring of overclocking, it looks like I need to have drop. Same with the shulker heart. Like this is just requires a lot of extra steps. So I'm gonna guess mobs drop a lot of this stuff. I believe sunglasses you can make, but spectral silt annoying. Yo, how you going, uh, Evact Gamers, if I pronounced that right? How are you doing today? Spectral Silt I'm a little bit worried about as well. Only because the way to craft it... Is it in here? Wrong way. The way to craft it is... So you can, you can break down anything you want, like any of your other baubles, but I don't think that's worth it. I'm doing good, thanks for asking. Good to hear. Always good to hear. So, yeah, to get, get Spectral Silt... Sure, you can break down your baubles, but screw that. Instead, what you could do is break down diamond blocks or blocks of emeralds with this thing, the disintegration tablet, which is not that hard to make. It just We just need blaze. We just need blazes, which is what we're going out to get anyway. By the way, bro, I want to ask your permission because I was lurking around and I came across your stream and I think I can help you out with your branding graphics. Um, I am flattered by the notion, but I'm going to be honest. I am kind of broke his shit right now, so I can't really afford to pay anybody to do anything. Um, so for the near future, I'm probably going to just fly solo for a lot of my stuff, but I might keep it in mind for the future. I appreciate it. So yeah, we need, we need diamonds or emeralds. That's the next goal, and we can generate those from digging, but they're pretty rare. They're not easy to get. I think you could get spectral silt from the dungeon loot and stuff. Yeah, that makes sense as well. I'm sure there's a way to find it. But if we could find an easy source of diamonds and emeralds, that would be great as well to just craft it. Unfortunately, we're not there yet. What am I doing? It's not time to leave yet. It's going to be nighttime soon, and I don't want to be caught at night. Like, this is a decent enough distance away that I really don't want to take the risk of dying. Like... It's probably a good three to five hundred blocks away. It's not long. It's not like a huge travel distance for me because I've got a ton of speed. But better to play it safe than sorry. Uh, no worries, bro. Thanks. Stay safe. Yo, you too. Thank you. And thank you for the follow. All right. So let's let's just continue breeding all the mobs because. I don't know if somebody killed them all off and didn't replenish them, or if something happened that just resulted in them all dying. It's kinda hard to say. There could have been another raptor rampage. I don't know if that just kind of screws all your mobs over or what. I built all these walls to protect against that, so I don't know if that's why. We'll see. I kinda need to see one of those happen in-game myself to know for sure. I guess we'll breed the pigs. Actually, no, better idea, better idea. Let's just go a slight distance out, see if there are any cows. This is a great opportunity to replace the pigs with cows, because frankly, we don't need the pigs. We don't need them at all. We are perfectly fine with cows, because the leather we can use for some other useful stuff, I think down the line, it'd be nice to have the source of it. And I'm really sad that we lost all of our cows at one point or another. Man, I'm really sad that all of our farm animals are dead. I don't know if someone did that or what. But that stinks, because what a convenient source of XP it was before. I would get like, I would probably get like a good 10 to 13 levels per like breeding session if I were able to like breed and kill in one go. And you can't always do that. Sometimes you gotta give them a couple breeding sessions to fully restock, but still, you get a lot. It's really convenient. It's how I got all of my like L skills in here up so far. Like I've almost maxed out treasure hunting. I've done a lot of work on smelting efficiency, a lot of work on farming, a little bit in combat. We've made some progress. So, unfortunately, it looks like it's gonna take some time to get that back up, but thankfully, the skills that I need to work on now are not quite as difficult. Is it becoming any time? Yeah, let's run back. So I kinda, I kinda go fast, I zoom. Like, between the speed ring, as well as one of the perks that I have, I've upgraded my sprinting speed, I think, to be 20% currently higher than base. So yeah, I go, I kind of zoom, I go fast. Not quite Sonic fast, but we're getting there. We'll get there soon. Like imagine combining this with a speed potion. Actually, if that works, it might not stack, it might not stack. But it does stack with the sprint speed perk. 
And I definitely want to upgrade that more down the line. Not the first priority, but something that would be a lot of fun in the future. Also, what I'm keeping an eye out for, we might do some mining later, later in stream, once we get a couple blaze rods. And apparently, dragons can spawn underground. Which is pretty cool! Pretty cool, because if you find, like, I think it's like a level 5, which is like the oldest... Get out of here. Yes! Azur! Good, 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 good. So the Azur Reapers are great, because I think they drop some, like, extra stuff. Yo, show them what's what, Gagatrace. Ouch. Bro, I can't see. Can I give you a good slap? Good slapping? Go back down. You can come for me. Yeah, eat shit. Get out of here. I'll take your XP, though. Thank you very much. Hmm. I love the spring. I love that I can kind of just cheese my way back into the house. Hi, how are you doing? What are you doing in there? <laughs> cool. Oh, uh, before we go to bed, let's just drop my mats in here. Let's see, let's take a quick look around. Did, did anybody mess up the chests again? It happened before. Wow, we filled up on food though. Oh, I also made some plant treats. I have no idea what these are used on. But apparently we can tame certain plant creatures now. So I'm going to keep an eye out for that. It'd be kind of fun to have a plant. I think this actually looks pretty good. This looks fairly well organized. I have no complaints. No qualms. Ah, oh, you know what? That can stay there. We have a billion bones. Bones are not a resource we are short on at all. Oh, actually, want to know what? I made one other thing as well. I totally forgot about this. So I made a quiver, which I thought how it worked, with the way that it's described, like passively supplies arrows to use in bows or longbows. Now it says ammo collect disabled, so I'm not sure if that just means that it was disabled in the settings and therefore is completely useless, but it does give me a uh, bonus 1.5 armor. So I, I guess I'll take it. And it was super easy to craft. It was like some leather, some leather and arrow and like string and stuff. It was not hard to make at all. Really, really simple. So I figured, hey, why not? You can actually make a gold one and a diamond one, but if you had arrow regen on, which I think is the issue, I think that's why it's not working. Um, the iron one, which is what I have, which is the lowest quality one, passively stacks up to like, whoa. Wait a minute, was I this close to dying? Ah, great. <laughs> uh, the iron one that I have makes like four stacks of arrows passively if it worked. There's a gold one that goes up to, I think like six, and then a diamond one that goes up to nine. And I don't know why you would ever want that many stacks of arrows in your inventory if it passively regenerates, but you could, you could make it. Um, I could have made the gold one. I figured thinking it would work at the time. I don't want like six stacks of arrows in my inventory. That's a lot of inventory space taken up. So I just made the iron one. I think the iron one's perfect. Unless if there's like a difference in generation speed, iron's actually just kind of the best one. Why, why waste your extra space? Why waste like half your inventory? Imagine, what is it? Wasting an entire row of your inventory on arrows. Imagine. How did that tower work out? Oh, so actually it still hasn't been done. That is still on the to-do list. Um, after me and Chaos logged off that day, we kind of just stopped. The only time I've even been in that area was to collect the heating coil because it was winter. And that's it. That's all that I've done. So we'll go back and do that eventually. In fact, another thing that I want to do, if you guys remember during that stream where we went to take on the tower, wait, are those horses? Um, we found some sort of, like, dungeon that Chaos referred to as being, like, a roguelike. Which interests me a lot. I want to do that on stream. Kind of poggers that there are horses here. I feel like horses are kind of pointless, though, when rocks are in the game. Like, why bother with a horse when I could have a flying, majestic bird? Alright, where was this? Now I just have to remember which river it was. Like, it's somewhere generally around in this area. In fact, I think I went too far. Yeah, yeah, it's probably this river that I was thinking of. We're on our way. We're gonna figure it out. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. So this should have, yep, an iron core. 
So let's go, let's go grab that real quick. Because I will take as much iron as the game is willing to give me. I've actually leveled up my mining skill a tiny bit. I don't think I did any of that off stream. Or at least recently off stream. But I think how it works is my other skill, the prospecting skill, which gives... What is it? Like... 5% chance of doubling or per level. So I'm at 10% right now, I'm at level two, and I think, yeah, this stuff, this iron ore chunk, I think these chunks with that skill can spawn from pretty much anything. Um, apparently diamond versions of it exist in the game, like diamond ore chunks, which is really, really cool. Because if you get a fortune pick, you could potentially take two ore chunks, throw them in a crafting table, make another diamond block, and then mine it again for even more diamonds. There's also a transformation that I've got my eye out for that turns you into dwarf that gives you like innate fortune and that stacks with the fortune enchantment. I have no idea how easy that is to get. My guess would be it's not, but I'm keeping an eye out for it. I like it. I think this is it. This looks familiar. Could be wrong. I just know it's like close to a coastline. So there's that castle. Um, there's nothing in that, by the way, unfortunately. So I think it's across this river towards the next. I swear, this this lava spot is in the like weirdest location. What I really should do is make like a big tower to mark it. Just like a big single block high. Or not single block high, but like single block wide tower. And just build it up really tall in the sky. The only problem is Ifrits can fly, and I would rather not get bonked off of a, uh, a big tower. Sounds not good. Is this it? Is this the right place? I know it's somewhere in this vague vicinity. Hello, pig. How are you? Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Okay. And now we just kind of have to bait out some spawns by hanging out close. And I should have... A fair amount of arrows. 37 will do for now. Ouch, that's warm. Now, I thought mobs were supposed to just passively spawn from this. What the? Uh, hello? 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 Oh, crap, that's a siren. I've never seen sirens before. Eat shit! Leave me be! This is a new one. Holy crap, this thing's effect is strong. How do you counter this? Die. Literally eat shit. Get out of here. What do you what do you think you're doing to me? Yeah, screw the Ifrits. We are now personally enemies. There was there was no like there was no personal feelings with the Ifrits. I just needed some materials, but you? Ooh, you were not having it. Not at all. She's almost dead. She's almost dead, don't you worry. One more one more arrow to the face. Yeah, eat! Eat shit! Get out of here! You suck! Ooh! Shiny scales! I don't know what that does, but that sounds neat. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty scary perk. I don't like that. Get earplugs? Is that... That makes sense. I'll have to look into that. I don't think I have a head bobble. I actually, for a little while, was using, like, an Enderman's crown. Which we just found at some point. And it has a really cool effect. It makes it so that Endermen won't attack you, even if you attack them. And they'll come to your defense if they're nearby when you're attacked. But it has one massive downside. And that's the fact that you can't swim in water. You take damage in water just like an Enderman. And I never got rained on, thankfully, while wearing that. Oh, that looks like something. Come on. Come on. Is there, like, a limit to how much Ifrits can spawn? Let's sip up. Like, before, whenever I came over to this lava pool, they would spawn pretty much instantly. Without an issue. Well, that kind of stinks if they're not going to spawn. Because I really don't want to go into the nether. I'll hop in there at some point so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Like, it's not, it's not a bad spawn, necessarily, but it's just... You kind of have to... I have a plan. I have a plan. Alright, let's run back. Get an assessment of our berries, since the Ifrits are going to be assholes and not do anything. 
I don't really want to go to the nether, mostly because of drinking and dehydration. I'm going to have to make some canteens and probably quite a few bandages. That being said, I don't think I'm going to go very deep in. I'm probably going to play it pretty safe. Yeah, eat shit. Get out of here. BRB, don't die. That's the plan. If it makes you feel better, I've been dying a heck of a lot less. I've been suiting up. I have... I started to get a sense of what's safe in RL craft and what's not. And the answer is a lot of it is not safe. But bows are. Bows are kind of like the go-to combat option. Because you can't really die if you can't get hit. The thing that bugs me a lot is there's so many mobs that will put passive effects on you just because you hit them. And I think that's what makes Craft actually so difficult. Because, for example, there's a lot of mobs in the game that will get like, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to call it like champion status or something like that, where they get all the like rainbow bubbles and they're like kind of a mini boss. Oh, this is, this is where I live. It's kind of like a mini boss. And the problem is, some of those effects are really, really easy to deal with. Like, some are just the mobs will, like, toss you up in the air. They're really not a threat at all. Others, you will be, like, lit on fire or explode or something like that if you so much as hit them. Which is a lot! It's not good! It's very annoying, actually. So, especially for champion mobs like that, or really any mob that you don't know what it is, shoot it with a bow. Just shoot it with a bow. Don't don't take the risk of whacking it with the sword, because you might just die. You might just literally instantly die, not even because you were hit, but because you hit them. I really like Craft a lot, for a lot of reasons. I like the difficulty. I think it makes the game far more interesting. But I will say, there are a couple little mechanics that I really dislike, and that's one of them. Dehydration is slowly becoming another... So far, I don't hate it, but now that I have to think about the nether... You got kidding me. Come on. Come on, buddy. There you go. Uh, yeah, dehydration, generally not a big deal. In the overworld, who cares? Because you can just carry around a bucket of water and not have to worry about it. But when you're in the nether, you kind of need canteens, and you get dehydrated fast. Like, really, really fast. And I don't want to deal with that. I just don't. Uh, let's chuck this stuff in here. I'm curious. What can I make with the shiny scales? Oh, sniny. Shiny. There we go. Ooh. Tide Guardian Helmet. How good is it, though? Defense 20 plus 10 locational. Oh, that's really, really good. Holy crap. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. Ooh, I want this armor set. Purple! Oh, let's go. I need this. I don't know how the fuck. Provides water streaming. Water streaming? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna... That's just the hot tub phase that went through Twitch. Water streaming? Provides water breathing. It has strength, strength buff when wet. Increases levels with a full set. That's really cool. Is it different depending on the color? No. It is just a cosmetic thing. I would love to get a purple Tide Guardian set of armor. I don't know how easy that's going to be, though. I have no idea what drops that stuff. And generally, I avoid the ocean because the ocean sucks. I think the ocean is probably the most dangerous point part of Craft. Besides, maybe the nether. Haven't been there yet. Don't really want to be there, but I guess we're going soon. I guess we'll find out how bad the nether is. We're going to just try to play it super safe. I don't want to go very far. What concerns me the most besides the dehydration, although kind of related, is I won't really have a way to heal myself at all. Or, or not heal my, well, that too, kind of. But I won't have a way to put fires out. And I have a feeling I'm going to be set on fire a lot. Too much, to be honest. And I'm not thrilled at that prospect. I, I'd love to take a full stack of bandages with me, but now that someone's killed off all the sheep... I can't really afford to just go wasting them like that. Before, bandages were stupidly easy to make. Like, I could just take all the excess wool that I didn't need. What? What do you mean a belt? Oh, no. 
Um, before I was able to take all the excess wool and just turn it into healing supplies, I actually, it came to the point where I was actually just chucking wool away because I didn't need it. But uh, now I guess I have to treat wool with some level of respect again until I can get all the sheep's bread, which will take a while. Let's get the chickens going. We just need to replenish all these sheep. I can't speak today. I just need to replenish all these farms. Oh, good, they're all grown up. Here we go. Now the chickens are going to take off, at least. Oh, boy. I'd love to know why all the farm animals died. I really would. Okay. That's probably about good. Throw the eggs. Get as many chickens as possible. And I think that's enough levels for... Yeah, let's get attack up again. Ooh, twice, even. Perfect. That's what we like to see. And I don't need these anymore. Let's sleep. Skip to daytime. Or... I could bait out some mobs, but I don't think there's any mob spawns that I really need right now. Um, the biggest thing would be ender pearls, and honestly, I've, I've got a lot of ender pearls. I've got three of my own personal EXP tomes now, so I really am not that worried about it. I really don't need more than that. At least for a while. I think it's going to be pretty hard to need more than three, because it looks like the max level cost is going to be 41. Although there might be an exception that I found. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. I think it was in combat. Yes, melee damage. So generally how this works, from what I've noticed, is the zero to the five level skills start at 11 and will scale up to 41. The 10 level skills will start out at 5 and scale up to some number that I don't know yet, but it's still fairly high. So like stealth is an example here. I'm at level 1, so the next level is, level, or is a level cost of 7. Melee damage, on the other hand, is a tenor, but starts at 11. So that probably will get to be very, very expensive. I'm guessing it will be one of the few skills that might actually require a metric crap ton of EXP tomes, but we'll see. For now, let's sleep. What? Ah. Oh. Alright. I guess I won't sleep. Oh! Oh, it's daytime. Okay. Guess I didn't need to. I'm really not in need of crops right now. Like, I could harvest them for XP, but who really cares? You know what we're gonna do? Uh. Alright. Alright. Let's do what we said we were gonna do. I'm gonna take a stack of bandages. We'll get the sheep back in no time, I'm sure. I can always do some offline grinding and just repopulate a little bit. I need to talk to people in the server, though, and figure out why all of our sheep are missing and hopefully avoid it in the future. So we got that. I would like one more pickaxe, just to be safe. Let's get that in there. Want to give me a buffed one? Oh, very nice. Perfect. All right, so that's good. Grappling hook, I'm actually going to keep out. I think that could be incredibly helpful in the nether. By the way, there are grappling hooks in this game, which I just discovered right before logging off yesterday. They seem very weird to use. Very, very weird to use. But neat that they're here. And I need a flint and steel. How is my one in this chest? Let's make another one. I'd like a full one, just to be safe. I don't really see me needing a ton of them. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. You never know when you're going to need something. I'll keep it in my offhand, though. That's fine. Oh, canteens is the other thing I need. How do I make those? I don't think they're hard. Canteen. It's just leather. It's just a lot of leather. Aw, oh, man. That kind of stinks because we don't have a lot of leather. This is why we need cows. Wait, you can enchant them. Unbreaking mending? Mending? Your canteen breaks? That's weird. I'm not, I'm not thrilled about that. How much leather do we have? Oh, we've got plenty. What was it, five or six? I think six. Was it like this? Yeah, all right. Let's fill this bad boy up. Is it, is it filled? Oh, oh, 
Oh! That's cool! I like that! How, how do I get a filter on it, though? Durability 2 out of 3. Oh, I see how this works now. So, I guess you can refill it three times before it just breaks itself. I didn't know that, but that's fine. I'm gonna put the water bucket away. I'm not gonna need it. Alright. Honestly, probably good enough. I've got a good couple sips, and I can refill it a couple more times. And it's not like I'm gonna be going back and forth in the nether. I'm just gonna be taking a little peek in there, seeing if there's anything that I can kind of snag with ease. I don't want to take too many risks. I don't have anything super valuable on me, I think. No. Just, just a lot of iron. It sucked to lose the iron, but I can kind of easily get more at this point. I've leveled up my mining quite a bit where I'm not super worried about it, and we've got enough in the reserves. Also, there's a dragon, like, pretty close by over there, which we'll check out later. Down the line, once I feel a little bit more prepared. So, we will... I'm excited. I'm excited for that dragon fight. I would like to, I would like to drink before going in here. Uh, I didn't need the thirst debuff, though. But whatever. Let's get in. Let's check it out. So, if this is similar at all to last time, should be pretty safe. Shouldn't be a big deal. Nothing to worry about. Whoa. There's an area above me. I saw that while spawning in. Oh, crap. I don't have torches. I hope that's not going to be an issue. I think that might be an issue. Oh, that's, that's a cool particle effect. What the heck is that? Pinky? Pinky? Is that a Doom mob? That is absolutely a Doom mob. Oh, and also not a threat at all. Now, who would believe it? It's hot in the nether. Shocker. Can I put these out? Will that help? As, no, as long as I'm not overheating, I'm not too concerned about it. Oh! What the? Alright, let's go. Let's go beat Pinky's ass. <laughs> Where did he come from? I, I need to take some torches with me as well. Um, sure. Just grab this. I don't need much. I just want to have some base layer defense. Stone rapier's fine. I just need to get in there. In fact, I was short on food anyway. Whoa, that's a lot of mutton. Cooked. Yeah, just the 19. Take that. And I will take whatever torches I have left, which is a killer torch. Awesome. Let's just get there. I... Last time I was there, there were literally no mobs in that space at all. Not super happy to see that there are now. Gonna be honest. So Pinky has no health. But, also mauls you. Like, wow, I have full iron and he just like slapped me twice and I died. And he hits fast. Man, what am I going to tell small? Quote, BRB, don't die. What did I do? What did I do? I done died. I had one job. I'm so glad this portal isn't far though. I wish it was... Well, no, we could do. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Why am I using this portal? Why am I using this portal like a dumb moron? Why? Whoa! You have a lot more health than the last, Pinky! Get out of here. That's what I thought. Alright, I'm grabbing my stuff and getting the fuck out of here. Before Pinky comes back. Is that everything? Uh, we can recoup outside the portal. Yeah, new plan, new plan. Much better plan than using this portal. This portal's risky because it requires a bit of traveling, granted, not much, but a bit, to get back to it. Do I have everything? My skirts, thank God! I love that there's a skirt in this game. Fun fact, same crafting recipe as iron leggings, but it's upside down and you put a string at the top. Perfection, Mwah. love it. Completely the same. There's no difference. But boy, look at it. Ain't it beautiful? Yo, Misfit, the skirt is iconic, right? I love it. It's my favorite. Um, so we just took on the nether. Not a good idea. But I have, I have a new plan. Oh, 
Never got my other flint and steel. That being... I don't think I really care, though. I got my quiver. I got my rings. Got my canteen. Yeah, the only thing missing is my flint and steel, which is easy enough to make. I think I'm cool without having it. Let's run back. All right, so here's what we're going to do. There are a ton of mobs that, for some reason, drop obsidian, a kind of end-game resource, in the game. So why use that portal that's like a solid hundred blocks away from home, when I could just make one in the village? And, you know, rope it off a little bit, because the last thing I need is a pinky coming into town. Because you know it can happen. We've seen, we've seen zombie pigmen come out of our portals before. We've seen other stuff probably come out of our portals before. Heck, with the newer game, you've t probably taken a strider or two out of your portal before. The last thing I need is something like Pinky to come marching out and kicking my ass when I least expect it. No thank you. No how. No way. Not happening. Ouch. Let me in. Uh, I'm gonna keep all this stuff, that's fine, I like my water canteen, I'll keep the torch. Uh, let's throw this stuff back in, pinky food can go in here. Single nether rock for some reason can go in there. And stone rapier can go there, I'm happy with that, I think. Alright, now all I need is some obsidian. Do we only have- What happened all over obsidian?! We had stacks! We had at least a stack. Four. Four obsidian? Are you kidding? What, where did it all go? What did we use it all on? Is there anything you can use it all on? Let me see. Obsidian. What can you make with it? Ender chest. No way we wasted it all on that. No way we wasted it all on it. No. What is this? Book of specialization change? Oh, that's actually really, really cool. So, uh, we, you can change your specialization. I like that. Um, but no way we wasted it all on that. No way on that. Aber aberrant stone? There's something alien. Uh, cool, but no. 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 What? Hello? Oh, what's this? Pedestal? If anybody knows what that does, please let me know, because we can make that. We've got all that stuff. And a waste of There's absolutely not a chance in hell we needed all that obsidian to be used on something. There was nothing that was, like, heavily caught. There was no, like, resources that cost obsidian besides maybe, like, arrows. Yeah, maybe someone made a ton of vampire arrows, which, if so, why'd you waste all of our obsidian? Like, at least leave half of a stack for us. You never know when we're gonna need an a nether portal. That stinks! That stinks. I don't know what to do. Um, well, I guess we're gonna have to stay up at night. And hopefully stumble- oh, well, perfect timing, actually. Um, we're gonna need to kill a lot of mobs. Thankfully, a lot of mobs drop obsidian. For some reason. You know, while I'm at it, give me some wheat. Let's- let's get the farm back. Because there's a lot of work to be done. I'm so sad that all my sheep are dead. I miss jumping into a full sheep pen where I literally could not move because there were so many. That was kind of the ideal. It was great. Just me, me and the sheep vibing out here in the big wide world. With a small, less wide village. But still. At least the chickens had a lot of babies in there, so we'll catch them up pretty quickly. Um... Honestly, though, I'm kind of starting... Now that I'm, like, actually going to dangerous places, I'm starting to actually want wool again. Because we can make a ton of bandages with wool. Kill one pen worth of sheep, and you've got enough bandages to last you a lifetime. There you go, boys. Enjoy that. Any extra XP for me? No? Holy crap, my left foot is critically injured. This is kind of a waste with stuff in the village, but whatever. As I said, we can make more down the line. I'm not too worried about it. There. All right, I need reapers. So let's see if I can bait one out. Well, I can tell where two of our obsidian went. 
You know what we can do? If we really need obsidian. I could get my mining up to 16. Could do that. Wanted to reboot. Yeah, that's uh... Alright, I guess mining might become a next instead of strength. That stinks. Talk to Trace into house. Oh yeah! Also small, can you do your thing with uh, chat? Oh. No. Hmm. Well, I yeah, I guess we're gonna have to work on mining, which kinda stinks. Oh, yeah, yeah, please heal me. And you know, while you're doing that, I will build up mining just a tad bit. <laughs> Misfit. Wait, did something happen? No, we just we just got spam with uh, QL Converse. Just just the typical go buy stuff somewhere for some scam. The huge, our favorite. Fucking boss again. Yeah, they're back. They're always back. We had a good we had a good streak though. A lot of streams without any bots. It was a good time. I was a fan of it. But now they're back. I don't know how to bait out banshees. I could go underground. I just don't like underground. It's scary. You wanna be famous, kid? Buy these magic beans. Ooh, alright, misfit. Now we're talking. Magic beans? Mmm. I I I take one or two. I could invest. Now, what do these beans do? In what way are they magical? And don't tell me a bean stock, because that that's the that's the typical response. You gotta give me something something fancy. Did they seriously just space out the punctuation? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I just saw spam message and was like, man, they're back at it again. Alright, that's a lot of torches. I'm going to put the canteen back in equipment. I don't need it since we're not in the nether. Man. Okay, and that will be my empty slot. I have too many slots. I need too many things out at once. Ouch! Whoa, who are you? All right. Well, <laughs> dead apparently. What the fuck is that? That's what I'd like to know. I didn't even have time to register what it was that stuff out of there. I guess it's just a fast spider though. It just drops spider stuff. Called a trite, apparently. Let's get in the mines. I want banshees. I want banshees. I want banshees and I want reapers. Wait, do reapers drop obsidian? Well, something does. Also, I would really like to get a good source of glowstone going. I know that there's a torch around here. I know I placed one. There it is. Um, I really want some glowstone so I don't have to keep relighting these dumb torches. It's not a big deal, but it is a pain in the butt. Fast spider? Yeah, no thank you. I I don't need any. I don't want anything to do with them, gonna be honest. So, in here we have an abandoned mine shaft, which I sorted through a little bit. I don't like the mine shafts, though. Traveling through them is kind of scary. Um, a lot of mobs spawn, like, randomly, and it's just so easy to get lost, which is my biggest concern. Getting lost in this mod pack sounds extra bad. All right, silver. Um, we're going to come back to that in a second. I just want to get some rocks so that I don't let that water leak everywhere. Fill up some cobblestone. I'll do one more layer down, get a torch up, and that will be enough to make me happy. Ouch! There we go. Holy crap, I got rocks fast. Oh, there we go. Give me the silver. I have. This is the first silver ore that I've ever found. Yep, that's what I was anticipating. You get out of here. Thank you. Is that it? Alright, I'll take it. Silver ore. Mining too, magic too. Yo, love the skirt. Thank you. I do too. Isn't the skirt sick? I discovered it on a whim while just messing around at the crafting menu, like, trying to find fun stuff to make. And I discovered the skirt. It, there is no advantage to the skirt over the pants. They are exactly the same. But boy, is the skirt fancy. Like, skirt over pants. Any day. I'm just sad that more armor in the game does not allow you to have skirts. 
Like, I think it's only the base game armor. Unfortunately. Also, I'm torn on something. I'm torn on something. Let me let me show you what I'm torn on. So, if we go back into baubles, and you go into the second page. There's not a second page. Oh, is it because I put an S at the end? It is. Interesting. There is this. Ring of Enchanted Eyes. Now, we can't make it. Is this it? Is this what I'm thinking of? This is it. So, obviously, I can't make this anytime soon anyway. But. Oh, wait. No, I can. I can. Hold on. Hold on. This is what I want to make. This is super easy to make. You just need some blaze powder. Easy. You just got to find a blaze or something that drops blaze rods. Here's the thing with it, though. Gives night vision when worn, which sounds super convenient, but makes me nervous in one way. There are mobs in this game that will spawn specifically when you are in the dark. And if you have constant night vision, you might lose track of the darkness kind of easily. So, like, on one hand, constant night vision sounds super convenient. But on the other hand, I'd rather not lose track of the fact that, oh my, it's dark. And then get attacked by a Darkling because of it, because Darklings are kind of scary. They drop Ender Pearls, which is great. They drop a lot of good stuff, a lot of goodies. But you gotta be careful with them, because they can kill you fast. Not my favorite mob to encounter. And they, like, latch on your face. They're spooky. They're very stressful, especially if you have a slow-swinging weapon. Which is why I carry around rapiers all the time. Or at least that's part of the reason. Alright, let's continue downward. I'm hoping I find another cave. I think I hear some like... Oh, yeah. See, there it is. That's exact... Redstone! I've been looking for a source of that. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, give me all the redstone. Please. We're gonna need lots of redstone down the line. Especially considering that I used up a little bit of it to make my ring. Which I don't regret. I really like my speed ring. And I want to make another. So I can make a couple others right now. Which might be convenient, actually. And they are... Whoa! <laughs> uh, first of all, good reminder... Let me know if the music volume's too low. I'll turn it up. But if it's not too low, I hope you were startled just like I was there, because I was really not prepared for that record, strat record scratch. I had no idea that the music stopped. I wasn't paying attention to it. But as soon as I click on the potion rings, massive record scratch in my ear. I did not need that. My heart. Whew. Um, we can't make this. Rabbit's feet sound like a pain in the butt to make, or to find. And who needs jump boost anyway? I can make this. I can make this haste ring. It would take like all of our emeralds, but I could make it. And I will say, sounds kind of convenient. I'm tempted, but I also don't want to waste all of our emeralds and not be like whoever literally got rid of our entire stack of obsidian. I'm really sad about it. I'm looking at you, whoever did that. I don't know if it was chaos. I don't know if it was calf. I don't know if someone just raided our town. I'm kind of sad about that. A resistance also sounds good. This is the big one. This is the, like, ultimate perfection ring. This is the ring that you want. Potion ring of regeneration. Gas tears? Probably not a huge deal. Probably not too big of a deal. Find a couple ghasts, slowly just collect them over a couple trips to the nether. No worries. Nether star, on the other hand, I don't know if there's another way to get these. Besides the wither, but I have absolutely zero desire to fight the wither. Absolutely zero. None. I do not want to fight him. Oh, we hit bedrock. Okay, so... Let's work our way up a little bit. Now, diamonds spawn on... Layer 12, right? So I'm gonna guess this is probably about layer 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... We'll go off of 11. Yeah, this seems like a good spot. And we will strip mine this way. Let's just see if we can find anything. Dig around a little bit. Maybe we'll find lava. Find a couple of ifrits. That'd be pretty cool. We'll see. I'm hoping I can stumble upon a cave. Maybe. Not necessarily like a must. But I don't want to spend a ton of time strip mining. Not exactly the most fun activity in the world. I don't think anybody sits down and thinks, Oh boy! I can't wait to strip mine today. And if you do think that, I would really like to know why. 
Are you okay? Do you, do you need do you, do you need help? Because we're here for you. You don't need to strip mine every day. I promise. It's not something you have to look forward to. You can look forward to actual real mining, like a Chad in the dangerous caverns. Not strip mining. You mess with Madi, gets shot. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes. You know, interestingly, I'm wondering how rare resources are. I mean, I stumbled upon a bit of redstone. I'm definitely on diamond layer. Okay, good, iron. I need lots of iron. So give me all of it. I'm kind of just keeping my ears open for cave sounds though. I I guess I should have brought a shovel with me. Good stuff for uh, forgetting a bit of flint though, which we can always use more of. Ooh, all right, here, check out this, check out this big brain strategy. Dig down one layer, continue the strip mine. Oh. See, this is why you bring two. Now, in a couple more blocks, I'll place one of these bad boys right here. Now we'll dig back up. Genius, genius, skip the gravel. Don't want anything to do with it. Okay, maybe we won't, maybe we won't. Oh, am I on the top layer of it, though? Alright, <laughs> now we'll go up a layer. So now we're digging through less gravel. See, we can still plant. We can still plant. Yes! Yes! Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Lights! Thank you. I see a thing. I see a thing. I see a thing, and I don't like things. I don't know what Zaffins are, but I don't like them. I, I don't want to go in there because an Ifrit can spawn behind me. Hold on, let's see if I can... Yeah, like that. That's, that's better. Oops, wrong thing. Oh, is he, is he gone? Do you leave? Get it, get it. Is he gone? Light! Light, you dummy. Oh, it died! It killed itself! What a moron! Idiot! Stupid moron! What do you think you're doing, idiot? Eat shit! Get out of here! This is my cave, not yours! Yeah, he looks scary though. I'm glad I didn't have to fight him. I didn't want to. Yeah, new mobs are the worst. Heart crystals, you say? Oh! Boy, oh boy, oh boy! Ooh, we take those. Ooh, ooh, we take those. I don't, I don't like this very much. I hear a thing. I hear a thing. And I don't like things very much, generally. Things are generally kind of dangerous out in the big wide world of Minecraft. No. Oh, Alright, we'll come back. Let's go, let's go make another flint and steel. Oh, flint. Flint, you say? I'll take it. Gravel, gravel, gravel. I don't need gravel and rocks. Yeah, that, that's a big skip. Alright, cool! We found a cave! A cave that I actually like. Which is good. Don't see that too often. Because I really don't like the mine shaft. First of all, I'm pretty sure mine shafts... Mine shafts just kind of always suck. Like, they, they've never been that great in vanilla. And honestly, I think they might be even worse in RL Craft. Because I don't think any of their item pools with their chests... We're updated with the mod. I think they're all just old stuff. Like you look in, you'll see like string, beetroot seeds, maybe the occasional saddle. Just like the dumb crap that you really don't need. Like so far I've found two chests in that mine shaft and said, wow, I guess I'll just leave these here. That's a, that's a lame kind of feeling. Doesn't make me very happy. Yeah, I'll take the gravel in case if I need to farm stuff later. Acid splash charge. Okay, cool. Materials. We need more of these. I would really like fortune because I'm going to guess fortune applies to heart crystal shards. Also, we can get heart dust, which we can make. So how it works, in case if you didn't know, there's heart dust. Heart dust, nine of them, in a cube shape, will make a heart crystal shard. Nine of those in a cube shape will make a heart crystal of which you can use to increase your health. That's why I'm at 11 hearts right now. 
And I'm gonna guess you can kind of just do that forever. Now, unfortunately, I think it randomly dictates what gets extra hearts, but can I, can I look at my body? Is that possible? Or do I have to take damage? All right. But I have four hearts on my head and four hearts on my, like my foot or my leg or something, something random, something kind of unimportant. The head's the thing that I'm excited about. Grab a little more here. Uh, how much iron do I have? That's probably enough to throw it into the smelter, I think. I'll hold on to the band-aids, put this stuff in here. The rocks, I actually might hang on to. Doc, granite can, granite can go. Bones, we're running low on, so I'll hold on to. Let's toss that in here. Yeah, we've got one, oh, never mind. We've got like two stacks. We're fine on bones. That's fine. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. Oh, food. Yeah, I'll just toss that in here. You know, that just concerns me more that someone slaughtered all the pigs. We're at the point where we need to start shucking food. Like, I'm sorry, we don't need... We don't need over five stacks of chicken. Um, we don't need over a stack of rotten flesh. I don't think raw rabbit is used in anything, so that can go. Poisonous potatoes, I'm not sure about. They can stay. This is just too much food. We don't need this much. I might sort through more of this later. I'll get rid of the extra little bit. The rest I'm gonna hang on to. I'm wary of throwing away any DLC, or not DLC, but mod pack related food, because higher likelihood they could be used for something. Don't wanna, don't wanna risk just losing them. All right, I need a flint and steel. Give me that. Oops. And let's get this smelting. What has more that does? Wait, I needed that. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I took coal instead of flint. There we go. Perfect. All right. Flint. Steel makes flint and steel. Wow, who would have guessed? Nighttime, you say? Yeah, we'll, we'll skip it. We'll skip through the day. Why not? No harm. No harm at all. <sighs> I'm so glad that nymph healed me. Or no, sleeping killed me. I forgot about that. I need to keep an eye on my weapon. Because it is all that I have. Once I'm running low on durability, I need to go back up. Because I've noticed in mines, you'll either find no mobs or a lot of mobs. Like... As soon as you spot one, generally you're about to run into a lot more. Very rare you just run into one and then you're good. So you gotta be very wary. You gotta be careful. That being said, I feel like careful is kind of the name of the game when it comes to RL Craft. I don't think it's really much of a surprise to anybody ever. <laughs> you have to be careful. But hey, still something to keep in mind. Wow, the strip mine went for longer than I realized. All right, we've got the obsidian here. That's pretty cool. Is that a thing over there? I see some sort of steam. Sounds seem to have stopped. Whoa! Steamy. I will just stay with... Yo, more? Yeah, give me all the hearts. Please. Awesome. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I light this up too. I need to be careful. I really just jumped into the steam water without thinking. How smart of me. I'm glad that it doesn't damage me. Because it could have. It could have just been burning hot. Would have made sense. Wouldn't have shocked me in hindsight. Oh, this is a good cave. I'm very happy about this cave. I think this cave should have some diamonds for us somewhere hidden about. The real question is, do I mine them now or do I wait for fortune? Probably just mine them, right? I feel like it's not worth waiting. Because I don't think I I don't think I'm gonna go into enchanting anytime soon. And I'd rather just not take that risk. 
so I can go up. Let's let's take a little peek. I hear a chupacabra! Get out of here! Get out of here. Now let me light my thing. Oops, I placed an extra one. Anything else here or is this just a dead end? Dead end. Okay. Get it lit up. Not a bad idea. Let's heal the right leg. Stay alive. Alright, let's dump this on here. As much as I would love to fuck around with some lava and get an ifrit or two to spawn, I really don't think that's a very good idea. Wow, heart crystals are common. All right. Ah, there we go. I'll worry about that in a moment. Let me get more of these. I'm up to five already. I might actually be able to get another heart crystal pretty soon. Yeah, I'm cool with that. That's a thing there, right? Oh, it's just, it's just El Chupacabra. You can stay there for a moment. If you're stuck, then we're chill. Is this a dead end? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Good stuff. Yeah, I had no idea that there were, like, heart crystals everywhere. I thought it would be much harder to get, but it's kind of easy. Kind of not a big deal. Please slurp some of this. Come here. Give me my water. One more. Come on, one more sip. I'm thirsty. Thank you. Um, let's get... I said I needed to get mining up, so let's do that. I really wanted to focus on attack, but I really, really would like to get this nether portal up and running. And I'm going to need to mine some obsidian if I want to do that. So I guess that's priority numero uno. Coal. Coal, you say? Hmm, come back for that if I need it. Coal isn't really... That's weird. Coal isn't really the main objective. We've got... I guess we could use more, actually. We don't have a crap ton of coal. I'll take it. Why not? I just won't bother climbing up any further. I don't know what heart crystal spawns are like. I don't know if they're similar to diamonds, where you need to be at a very specific level or not. Thank you. I hate that it uses a, like, use of your flint and steel every time you light the torch and it doesn't work. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's intentional, but either way, I hate it. Kind of stinks. Kind of annoying. Yeah, just let's uh, let's block that in. I'm I'm down for a bit of lava. Okay, well, not that way. Fill that up too. Okay. Silver. All right. This cave was not as big as I was hoping. That's okay. That's fine. We got some silver, we got some heart crystals. All in all, not bad. That being said, I really don't know how useful silver is. I think it counters undead mobs pretty well, but honestly, undead mobs aren't that big of a deal in comparison to a lot of the other stuff, at least. Like, sure, skeletons suck. That's, that's about it. I'm sure there's some other stuff that classifies, but generally, eh. Th they really don't matter as you get later into the game. At least from my experience so far. Like, I, I kind of just don't worry about zombies at all at this point, and I only worry about skeletons a little bit. Okay, give me my coal. Come on. Can I hop up? It's hard, I can't reach. I'm a short boy with short little arms. Short little stubby man arms. All right, plan B. There. Now, I... Hello! Hello! What are you? I don't like him. Ooh, I don't like him at all. Okay. I'm gonna run this stuff back up. Ender Pearl's great. Ooh! Spectre Tendril! Love to see that. Yeah, I love the mob parts. I haven't invested into using them at all, but they sound really useful down the line when I actually start 
specking myself out. I really don't think they'll be worth using until I get like diamond tools and stuff though. Stuff that actually lasts me. We're getting closer. We're inching ever closer to that. <clears throat> I guess I continue the strip mine now. There really isn't anything else to discover in that cave, I don't think. I could climb up. Actually, we'll do that. We'll do that. And the reason why is I want to test to see if heart crystals are a deep underground spawn or if they're kind of reasonable. I saw absolutely zero of them in the abandoned mine shaft. So either I got stupidly lucky or they only spawn lower. But we'll, we'll take a little looking around. Honestly, I'll, I'd take the iron pretty happily if that's all I get and coal. Thank you. Can you do my head though and my foot? There you go. Much appreciated. Alright, we got that. I have enders always nice. Chorus fruit's great. That's food. That's stuff. Uh, this goes in here. Seven heart canisters already. I just need to find a little bit more. I can make another heart. Which is pretty neat. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to that. I will make... A little bit more cobble, doesn't hurt to have. And the rest of this stuff just goes around. Oh, that goes in there. Food goes in here. That's not food, that's coal. Coal, iron, that, that, and I'm pretty satisfied. I might make a couple more torches. That might be worth doing. Where's my sticks? I feel like I'm always in need of more sticks early autumn. Great. Oh, you know what? While we're at it, before we go... First of all, restock on that, though. Before we go, let me... Let's do a little bit of weed harvesting since I'm thinking about it. Doesn't hurt to get more. Worth a lot of XP. And before even that... Because I'm thinking about it, let's, let's, let's breed the sheep. Needs to happen. We're due for it. Is that it? Is that all of them? I miss the days where I could just literally go through an entire stack, or at least like half a stack with them. Mining 12. Alright, a couple more levels out of that, and that'll be set to go. I'm not gonna bother with the... Uh, actually, I will. I'll bother with the chickens. Why not? Doesn't hurt. The chickens go through so many more resources than the sheep, though. Like, sheep... Even a max pen of sheep, I literally never run out of weed at this point. The chickens go through the seeds so fast in comparison. All right, that'll do. Yeah, welcome to the crew, little baby chickens. That's good for that. Chuck that back in, and now I can use some wheat. Yeah, let's watch wheat grow real quick. Oh god, I don't know what that means, but I'm getting the fuck inside! Eruption. The world is going to burn. What do you mean the world's going to burn? Can I sleep? Can I sleep it away? Sleep it off. Sleep it off. Get rid of it. None of it. None of that. None of that. No eruption. Do I see fire outside? I see a named mob. I see multiple named mobs. Uh, hello? What? What? Ah! You can't just do that, my pack! Oh, what the f The house is on fire! Everything's on fire, but they're in blazes, so that's pretty cool, I guess! Holy shit! What the f- Hello? <laughs> Isn't this a little bit much? Eruption is no longer spawning shit? Well, good! It shouldn't be! Oh my- Everything's on- to me no 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 not title screen is all my stuff burned this is awful everything's burning this is terrible everything's awful this isn't fair this isn't even slightly fair holy crap this is stupid 
What were they thinking? What were they thinking when they added this into a mod pack? You literally need to have stone buildings. Um, I, I don't want to lose that stuff. I hope the chests didn't break at least. Oh my god, everything is on fire. Yeah, cockatrice burned to death. I'm not shocked. Um, I, I, I don't know what to do. I kind of, this, this is very, very bad. Cockatrice, we gotta deal with this. Uh, this is my, this is my best weapon, I guess. Give me the ring of speed. Oh my gosh. Literally. Um, the entire village is going to burn down. Everything is on fire. <laughs> this isn't good. This is the definition of bad, I would argue! Everything's exploding! Stop! <laughs> Please! Holy crap! Alright. Um. Wow. Wow! Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, we have got to cut our losses here. Disconnect. We have to cut our losses. I'm just spawning more stuff being there. Eruption is literally the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. That is stupid. That is actually dumb. That ca that literally just... God forbid anybody builds anything in the game called Minecraft. Build. Okay, build isn't in Minecraft. Building is the main part of the game! They spawn lava randomly. They spawn mobs that literally shoot explosions. What were they thinking? All right, I've got to let that go. I've got to let those mobs despawn for a couple minutes. I think it takes like five minutes at least for mobs to despawn. They're not spawning anymore at least. I don't think they got to the chests, which is good. So we didn't lose everything. Um, wow. Wow. Wow, that's... that's messed up. Like, that is literally... That is a forced log off. You have to just log out when that happens. Otherwise, you're gonna spawn stuff in your town and obliterate it. Why? Why? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to talk to Chaos. I wonder if he can disable certain parts of the mod pack. Um, that, that should not be in there. That's ridiculous. Raptor Rampage, which is another thing, another event like that that I've seen happen, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Uh, well, not perfectly fine. We lost all of our animals because of that. But in comparison, perfectly fine. Literally blowing up all of your hard work because you decided to play the game is probably one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. The only counter to, what was that called? Eruption? Is make everything out of obsidian. Why? Um, let's, let's transition. Let's transition into another game for a little while. We'll come back to that and cry after seeing the destruction that has rained upon our place. Actually, you know what? What do we want to do? What do we want to do? I want to do, I want to do my Isaac tier list because I've been playing a lot of that game. But I want to announce that as well. <sighs> Man. Man, that stinks. Man, that stinks a lot. That's... that's silly. <laughs> that's actually ridiculous. Um... I don't want to do any tier lists without really announcing them. Like, I like to give those some time. We could just jump into Amnesia. We really only need to give this, like, five minutes, right? So, here's what we'll do. Let's quit game for now. Let's quit game for now. We'll turn off game capture. Turn on display capture. Let's find something to do. Also, look at this look at this awful setup of icons. For whatever reason, I don't know why, my PC just decided to randomly rearrange everything and did it multiple times. <laughs> so I guess this is my desktop now. And I hate it. It used to be all perfectly organized. Like I had I had like browsers and stuff over here and it would slowly transition into games. It was great. No longer. Uh, let's change real quick the stream info. We're going to make this just chatting. And we'll just... We'll... 
Uh, we'll, we'll rename it. Letting mobs despawn. Is that not how you spell despawn, or is despawn just not a word? From Curio. Gosh. That's crazy! Um, yeah, my opinion of Arlcraft just tanked after that, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest, that's- that's bad design. That's bad game design. Ugh. Oh, I'm glad I- I'm glad I recovered the ring at least. And I'm glad none of the important chests blown- had blown up. But that entire village might burn down. I have no idea what lit on fire and what didn't. Let's do something silly. Let's deflate. Um, you know what? Let's go to Tier Maker real quick. Uh, just tier list is probably fine. Tier Maker, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Is there anything, is there any like funny thing I can do real quick? Uh, let's go into Minecraft. Let's do a Minecraft tier list. I have no idea what's in here. It's gonna be incredibly un, not serious at all. And you know what? That's exactly what we need. Minecraft music? I don't know the Minecraft music by name, though. Minecraft food? Minecraft mobs? Um... Sure, we'll do... I don't know, which which one of these is better? Every Minecraft mod, Minecraft mobs, we'll just do Minecraft mobs. Awesome, cool, great, good, bad, terrible, super terrible. Why is the- why is the player character? Alright. Sure, sure, we'll do this. This sounds stupid. This, is, this sounds like a good waste of time. So, first of all, Obviously, Steve, Steve and Alex are awesome. I mean, we're gonna base this off of how dangerous mobs are, like their threat level. Obviously, the, the player character is S tier. I mean, the player character can literally do whatever. You beat every boss in the game, yada, yada, yada. Obviously, they're strong. And now we'll go from there. I'm curious, do they have wolves repeat? I don't think so. Wolves are pretty cool. Wolves are not super strong. They're not a big threat. But they can be tamed, which is pretty cool. I'm going to put them in great. I have no idea what the fuck Axotls are. I didn't even know they were in the game. Let me just toss them in here for a second. I need to make another tier. Ah, uh, share template. Settings? Add row below. We'll just make it a couple question marks. That's fine. Uh, Axotl. Love Exotals, think they're cool mobs. Have no idea what they're like in Minecraft, so we'll skip. Bats are obviously awful. They literally don't do anything. They don't provide anything. They're literally just ambience, ambience of the game. Bees are actually kind of dangerous and pretty useful. I think they're like the same level as dogs, for sure. And blazes are also similarly dangerous, I think. Like they're not, you could get screwed over by a blaze, kind of similarly to these animals. Um, is that a mushroom? What is that? I've never seen a brown mushroom. I'm gonna guess it acts exactly the same. I'm just gonna put it as... Um, I'm gonna put it as good. I like that they're unique mobs, but they're not exactly common. And they don't drop anything that special, but it's neat when you see them. It's a cat, ocelot, same tier as dogs. Um, so... Same tier as dogs. They're not as useful, but they keep creepers away, which is kind of neat. Cave spiders. Cave spiders kind of suck, but they add to the game. I'm going to put them good. They're moderately dangerous. They're moderately dangerous. Creepers. Eh, same same deal. Actually, I want to I want to relist these. Um, what Facebook measure? Strong, um, dangerous, decent threat, uh, but yeah, I can't rate it this way because I'm rating them based off of usefulness as well. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it what it was. Awesome, great, good. Because the thing is, I don't think any of the mobs in Minecraft are bad. I 
that's fine. <sighs> it's hard to rate it this way, but it's fine. Love these guys, but they don't, uh... That's, that's, I think that makes sense. I love zombies. I love the mini zombies on chickens. I think they're cool. Chickens are obviously not a threat at all, but they at least provide stuff. So I'll put them in bad. All right, here's how we're gonna do this. Awesome, massive threat, provides a lot of stuff. Great, either very useful in some way or provides a lot of stuff. Wait, very useful in some way or a pretty decent threat. Good is a moderate threat or provides something useful or is unique enough in some way to make it good. Bad is not a threat at all, but might provide some useful stuff. Terrible is not a threat at all, but provides maybe something and then literally not a threat at all. It doesn't provide anything. That's how we'll do this. Fish. Yeah, that's, that's going to be below chicken. You can already fish for fish, like... All the farm animals are going to go into bad. Creeper, I guess, is the same as the charged creeper. I don't think there's any difference. I have no idea what the hell this thing is. Dolphins, I think, are this. Um, I'm going to put them bad, actually. They don't drop anything useful, but I'm going to be honest. The fact that dolphins give you swim speed buffs is great. Donkeys are not a big threat, but are very useful to ride around on, so I'll put them in mid-tier. Drowners are... I feel like all the trash mobs are going to be in good, for the most part. Uh, I might I might bump these guys up a little bit. They're a little bit bigger threats of the overworld. These guys should be up there. Ender Dragon is going to be highest tier, obviously. I mean, it's a boss. Endermen are going to be up here. I have no idea what the hell this thing is. What is that, a shulker? These guys, these mages, annoying as shit. Definitely, definitely a powerful mob. <sighs> I feel like I need another tier in between these. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get, we're gonna move all these down one. This will make me happy. Um, farm animals, completely useless. Um, I'll make, I'll make these okay and move these all down a tier. Move them all down a tier. Move these guys down a tier. Some of these are going to go back up in a second. I just want to get a better sense. So Endermen are going to be up there, I think. The Mages are definitely going to be up there. Charge Creepers, not as much. Blazes I might put up there. Cave Spiders I'll put there. These guys... I'm not super familiar with the like weird... Pufferfish things, but I rem I think they're annoying because that's not the guardian, right? The guardian is is that the guardian? Which one of these is the guardian? One of those is a big deal, and the other is not. Maybe that's the guardian. I don't know. I've never, you know what? I'm gonna put him in question mark. Here's the reason why. I've like never fought the guardian, um, so I probably can't give a good enough opinion. Foxes, um. Uh, they're not a farm animal. They're not as good as dogs and stuff, though. I, I'll put them in okay tier. They're kind of neat, I think. No, they're kind of useless. Foxes are useless. They're cute, and that's it. No idea what the heck this thing is. Some weird-ass wither. Ghasts! I would put on the same tier as Blazes and this other stuff. They're they're kind of really annoying. Glow squids, I'm pretty sure, are... Ah, they drop ink sacks or something. Supposedly, they drop, like, glowing ink sacks... I think is pretty good. Um, I'll, I'll put them in the farm tier. Like, they're not actually farm animals, but that you get useful stuff out of them without being a threat. Hero Brian, I don't know why Hero Brian's in this list. Hero Brian's not a mob. Like, haha, funny meme. Haha, funny meme. I haven't seen any Hero Brian relevance in years. Hero Brian was like this cool urban legend when I was a kid, when I was like 10 years younger and 11 years old. Like, nowadays, I feel like nobody even talks about Hero Brian. Sure, I, people probably know he exists, but... Who, who cares? Hero Brian doesn't matter. I'm not even going to rank him. Because I don't want to put him in question mark. I know what he is. I, actually, we'll, we'll put him there. He's he's unrankable. Let, let's change that. Uh, or I'll, I'll make another tier. Um, add row below... can't rank. 
And I'll put I'll put the guardians in here because I know what they are. I'm just not super familiar. And Hero Brian definitely goes in there. Uh, the pig guy, probably this tier. Kind of a threat, not a big threat. Bigger threat than zombies. Horses, same tier as donkeys. That's easy. Literally just a zombie, but again. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. What are these guys? These guys are new. I'm gonna guess. Generally with the pillagers, they're higher tier. I'm gonna put that in great. Iron Golem is like good. They're not actually that strong. You just kind of mow them down with arrows and job done. Whoa, that's cool. I've never seen a rainbow sheep before. No idea what it is, but that's neat. Rabbits are farm tier, farm tier. Only because if you can manage to get the rabbit's feet, that can be useful for stuff. Alpacas are pretty much useless. Magma cubes are very useful, but not that big of a threat. So I'm going to put them here. Donkeys? Didn't I rank donkeys already, or is that a mule? Ocelot. Ocelot is like the same thing as a cat. I, I don't know why they separated them. Same thing. Panda bears are literally pointless in the game. They're just there to promote pandas, I guess. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm glad that they're there. I have no problem with there being useless mobs. But at the end of the day, pandas don't contribute anything to the game just besides existing. Parrots are a tiny... Whoa, that's weird. Not good. Uh, I don't want to say they're terrible. But I don't want to say they're, like, as good as cats and dogs. So I'm going to put them, like, a tier below. Piglins are kind of the same tier as zombies. What is going on with this? There we go. Piglins are okay. Like, they're fine. Not a big deal. Pigs are farm animals. Normal pillager, I'm not going to rank as high. They're not as big of a deal. Still a threat, but not a massive threat. Polar bears... Since they are technically a neutral mob that you can attack and they will attack back, I'm going to put them in okay tier. Not that dangerous. They're pretty slow, going to be honest. Puffer fish. Um, kind of terrible. Kind of awful. They technically drop stuff, but they don't really drop anything. They drop puffer fish. You can just fish up puffer fish. Any fish are kind of useless. Although, I guess I did... I'll, I'll put it with the other stuff, since the other fish are in there. Literally a rabbit, but again. Where did I put the other rabbits? In farm? Is this supposed to be... Is this supposed to be the, uh, the, like, Monty Python's rabbit? Is that what that is? Does that exist in Minecraft? I forget. Maybe that's why that's there. These guys are very annoying, have a lot of health. They go up there. Most of the pillager stuff will. Salmon. Who could have guessed? It goes in farm. Sheep go in farm. I have no idea what this is. Ah! Skeletons on a bone horse! They're fine. Same with bone horses. They're fine. Um, bone horses are kind of neat, but that's about it. They're not as good as other stuff. A lot of stuff goes in the okay tier. Slimes go in farm tier, I'm gonna be honest. I know that they're not actually farm animals, that's, but that's basically what they contribute to the game. They're not much of a threat at all. They can be if you're really if you're not equipped at all, but generally not a big deal. Not really a big deal at all. Uh, this goes same tier as the horse skeletons. They're no different. Same with normal spiders. Squids. Farm tier. Farm tier. Ink sacks are useful at least. If you're into dying and stuff. Blight skeletons. These are the nether ones, right? I don't know if these actually behave any different from other skeletons. But solely because they spawn so much. I'm going to put them in a tier above. Um, that biome where those guys spawn sucks. Shulkers. Um, kind of useless, I'm gonna be honest. Shulkers don't contribute much to the game at all. They're neat. I love them. But they don't do anything. Why are there multiple rabbits? Literally, the rabbits were in here three times. They're just different colors of the same rabbit. No difference. No difference. Farm tier. Same with alpacas. Literally just alpaca, but again. Where did I put them? Super terrible. Yeah, it's about right. Nemo, farm. Uh, sea turtle is also terrible. Honestly, any of the like endangered species things that they put in the game, odds are they're bad. Um, I put the polar bear up because he actually is somewhat of a threat. Somewhat of a threat, but panda bear, turtle, they're neat. I'm glad that they're there. They don't actually add anything to the game though. 
the heck is this? It's like a gas, but with extra arms. I've never seen this before. I don't know if this is like the new caves update or whatever, and I just haven't played it, but I don't know what that is. Same with these. I'm not entirely sure what these are. Villagers are... <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Villagers are kind of farm animals. <laughs> you farm them for materials. That's it. That's all that they do. They're obviously not a threat, but you get stuff out of them. Axe pillagers. I'm actually going to put this up here with the others, only because they do mad damage. Odds are they're not a big deal. But if you let one sneak up on you, they will fucking drain your health. Same tier as villagers. Debatably worse. What is this? Is this the warden? Um, I haven't fought the warden. I haven't fought the warden, so I shouldn't rank it. I can't rank it. But I'm going to guess if I could, it would be up with the ender dragon. Which is pain in the ass. I can't stand them. Fuck witches. Me, my opinion might have shifted a little bit because of Arlcraft. Witches are so much worse than Arlcraft, especially. But witches are just a pain in the ass. I hate them. I hate them. I can't stand them. I can go up there. Fuck them. Wither skeletons are also pretty dangerous. The wither is a boss. Goes up here. Literally just dog. But again, good. Good. Same tier. Like, same animal. The creature isn't different. Uh, this is the same thing as these guys. Literally just different variations. Zombie horse, I'm pretty sure is the same as a skeleton horse. Zombie pigmen. I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put in the good tier. Like, everybody knows just don't attack a zombie pigmen. It's not like they drop anything good anyway. But if you're dumb enough to hit one or accidentally hit one, then you might have a problem. Zombies and zombie villagers are just fine. Is this a zombie pigman? Oh, a zombie piglin. Why are they listed separately? Same mob, just reskinned. There you go. That's it. Um, yeah, that, that generally makes about sense. Probably not gonna post this anywhere. Just wanted to kill some time. Let's uh let's go check in on Minecraft. Let's see how that's looking. I am pretty nervous to see the destruction. Everything should be gone at least. Uh not Discord, OBS. Let's turn off display, turn on game. Here we go. Give it a second. Uh, Minecraft, not Minecraft, but RLCraft specifically takes a hot second to launch. So forgive me. It's probably going to be a solid like 60 seconds until the game actually opens. We'll just vibe to the music. I really hope that the entire village hasn't burned to the ground. On the very, on the bright side, I don't see why our chests would be destroyed. Mine got blown up, but I recovered the only things that matter from it, so I don't care. I got the three EXP tomes, and honestly, even if I didn't, they're not that bad to craft. Enderpearls are kind of common, as weird as that is. I'd still rather not lose them, because that's like 12 pearls. That takes a while to get, at least a little while. And again, if you're unlucky in the right way, <laughs> so I'll have plenty fast enough. Like, wow. I don't know why so many mobs spawn pearls. It's weird. Like, it's great. I'm glad that they do. It's really convenient. But why? Actually, my saddest thing, eruption was great for blaze rods. If it wasn't for one little thing, I literally couldn't even manage to pick any up because I was too busy getting exploded. Odds are all that stuff is long since despawned. Along with like half of my stuff at least. Most of which I don't care about though. Fingers crossed, folks. Oh, let's let's update this back again. This needs to go back to Minecraft. Minecraft. Curio. Uh, we'll call it Village Recovery. Curio SMP. Village Recovery. Oh, man. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, jeez. <sighs> okay. Hello, I'm back. Just had a banger sushi for my mom's birthday. Oh, boy, small. You missed some shit. You missed some shit. So I had to log out for a little while. We just did the Minecraft tier list. Or Minecraft mob tier list. And here's the reason why. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the destruction speak for itself that may or may not exist. I'm really hoping may not is gonna be what happens. But my gut tells me that it's more of a may. No! What the fuck? They're still here? That's not okay, 
get us stuck. So, want to know what happens, Small? Want to know what happens? Um, the makers of this mod pack are absolute morons, is what happens. There is the occasional event that can happen in RL Crafts, where a lot of enemies will spawn. One is called Raptor Rampage, which I've experienced before. It spawns a lot of raptors around. That's fine, whatever. Kind of a pain in the ass. But not a big deal. But this time, it was Eruption. Which, uh, I don't know why it's in the game. Eruption is kind of the dumbest shit ever. It spawns a metric fuckload of lava and lava spawning mobs and mobs that can cause explosions. And not like creepers, which I could deal with. But, like, things like the Wither that can just blow st Basically, it spawned a bunch of, like, weak Withers everywhere. Like, what am I supposed to do about that? I should have just immediately logged out, but I didn't know any better. I didn't know until it was too late. Also, I just lost my ring, by the way, as well as, like, most of my EXP tomes. So that sucks. I managed to log out before losing that. Should have just logged out immediately as soon as I saw that stuff was still here. I gave it, like, five minutes at least. I heard that that's the time it takes for mobs to despawn. Apparently not. I don't know what to do. I'm actually really disheartened about this. Like, it makes me not- it makes me not want to play Curio, because what do you do about Eruption? Like, in the future, I guess I can just log out whenever the event happens. But it sucks that that's even a thing in the game. Like, why? Why? There should not- there should never be an event so bad that it makes you say, yeah, I have to log out. Like, yes, there's things like the Raptor Rampage and the Blood Moon and that kind of thing where it spawns a lot of dangerous mobs, but it's not to the point where, oh, if I don't log out, my entire house will explode. Like, come on. Come on. What were you thinking, designers of RL Craft? I'm gonna, I'm gonna add the Discord, actually, and see if I can rant to anybody about this. We're gonna, I guess we'll do more tier lists or something. I don't know. We could also just jump right into Amnesia, but I'm not sure if I'm in the mood for Amnesia now. That kind of, that kind of was a big mood killer. Wait a minute. Wait, Chaos might be able to reset the server. Hold on, I have an idea. Hold on, one second. Yeah, I'm gonna hop in voice. Woo! Um, Shvixi decided to make RLCraft players lives hell. Ah, chaos. Let me tell you about what happened. About one of the dumbest things I've ever experienced in a video um, game ever. Okay. So, you're, are you familiar with like the events that can happen in game? Mm -hmm. Um, are you familiar with the eruption event? Uh, a little bit. Is everything burnt down? Um, yeah, literally everything exploded. Because I decided to not log out as soon as seeing Eruption because I didn't know what it, uh, know what it was. Awesome. Yeah, kind of infuriating. I think our chests might still be intact, but it's hard to say. It's to the point where if I so much as walk anywhere, I die. And I tried logging out and giving it like a good 10 minutes for hopefully the mobs to despawn, and when I logged back in, they were still there. So... I... I don't know what to think about this. Uh, <laughs> um... Good luck! Yeah! I, yeah, that's all I can really say is, you know... Yeah, unfortunately... I don't really know what to do about it besides just let mobs despawn. It just kind of stinks because it means if this ever happens again in the future, it's kind of just a hard... It kind of just forces everybody to log out of the server if you care about anything. Because yeah, yeah. literally everything in the village is either on fire or exploding. 
Yeah. This yeah. Kind of silly. So I, I, there's not a way to remove specific mods from the mod pack and just get rid of like, um, eruption. Is there? Like, I don't have an issue I with Raptor it. Rampage and that kind of thing, but everything I, else I is kind of ridiculous. All the mods kind of work in tandem, but it's possible. The issue is you need access to the, you know, the console and all that as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's saddening. I, I think all of our chests are at least okay. Um, I didn't walk anywhere near them, so it should be fine, but I will say we're gonna... I'm gonna wait a while. I think I'm gonna give it at least a couple hours for hopefully everything to actually despawn. And, uh... Someone in my chat is asking me if, if it's possible to reset the server. I don't know if we even want to reset for something like this or not. That's definitely your call. Because, like, I hate to um, reset just because it was me playing. Yeah, and I, and I have no, no idea what the last backup was. Because, again, I'm out. Right. Yeah. Uh, I can I can look into it if possible, but it will be a couple hours. Yeah, I, I think I'm done with Curio for at least a couple hours anyway. All right. Well, that's unfortunate but funny. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's all on stream. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I chose to stream today. At least. <laughs> Imagine that all happening off camera. Well, then I don't think anything would have happened. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh well. well. Well, yeah. I just wanted to update like you on that. All right. I'll see you, Chaos. See ya. Oh boy. Um, yeah, it auto saves every now and then. I think you can go back into backups. The problem is Chaos is out right now, so I don't know how achievable that is for him. It's just it's just silly that that even happens. Just ridiculous. If I'm going to be honest. Um I want to. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. Because we can't really do Minecraft now. We're gonna. I think we're gonna take a break from Curio for today. Maybe the next. Eh, probably not that long. I like Curio too much. But at least for today. Thankfully, none of my baubles were like too hard to get. As long as our chests are intact. Intact. Really, it wasn't that heavy of a loss. But man, man, that sucks. There's gonna be a lot of rebuilding that needs to be done. I'm pretty sure all the farm animals are probably dead. Oh god, I really hope the greenhouse hasn't been destroyed. Um, outside of that, nothing's a big deal. The greenhouse would be probably the worst after the chests. Because the greenhouse glass requires specific dyes that are not easy to get to make. Everything else, not a big deal. If I got the chests, we can recover. <laughs> Assuming everything doesn't burn down. I'm going to leave it be, though, for now. Um, I kind of want to do my Binding of Isaac tier list. Oh, by the way, speaking of which, here, let's uh, let's turn off my Minecraft game capture. We're going to go back to display. I made a Minecraft tier list, by the way. Small, in case you're curious. I was kind of rated it off of generally the difficulty of things with a side emphasis on how useful the mobs were to the player. Um, as you can imagine... A lot of stuff is just kind of neutral. But I don't think I'm going to post that or anything. I'm not super worried about it. Tearless Pog, yeah. I, I kind of want to do my Isaac tier list. I'm tempted. I might... What time is it? It's 11.37. Let's take like a... Let's take like a 20, 30 minute recess. I, I'm going to... I'll make a tweet about it. And maybe grab some food or something real quick. Just deflate a little bit because, frankly, I'm kind of pissed right now. I'm really infuriated about that. Like, I really, really enjoy difficulty done well in games. And absolutely despise difficulty done poorly in games. Um, and that comes in a lot of examples. Obviously, the eruption, I think, is difficulty done poorly. poorly. I think punishing players... It's not even punishing players. Yeah, no, punishing players for not building with obsidian is the dumbest thing I ever could have thought of. 
because it creates the option of play or don't play at that point, which is dumb. Just stupid. Um, another example, um, and I love this game, but Elder Scrolls Oblivion is absolutely difficulty done wrong. Although for a very, very different, less infuriating reason. Um, if you've ever played Oblivion, um, how it works is damage... Honestly, the difficulty only scales in terms of... Oh crap, I need to edit stream info again. We're just going to call this just, tra just chatting. I don't feel like putting that much effort into it. Ranting. Ranting is all this title needs. Ranting. <laughs> this is a rant at this point. I'm mad. I'm ranting. Um, yeah, how Oblivion does it is when difficulty scales up, all that it does is it increases the sponginess factor of every enemy in the game, which is obviously just unfun difficulty. It's not even hard. It's just, wow. Now I'm just wailing on the same enemy for a while. <laughs> yes, sponge. Oh, man. How disappointing that is. That's so sad. That's so sad. Look, I'm... You know, real quick, while we're hanging out, let's look it up real quick. Let's look up, like, the Craft events. I'll look up eruptions specifically, because I don't know what the actual term for it. Mob events, Craft wiki. I want to know what to look out for in the future so that I don't literally lose a village just because I decided to play the game. Oh my god, is there really this many? No, that's too many. That's way too many. Arachnophobia, that sounds fine. Bamstorm, honestly? It's kind of to the point where if I see any of these events, like Raptor Rampage also sucks, it forces me to stay inside. Part of me wonders if these events are kind of just existing. During Cinderfall, Cinders will spawn blasting flames unless you have an extremely powerful weapon or bucket of water. Yeah, Dragon's Roar spawns, I'm gonna guess dragons. Eruption. Ugh. Keep your distance from both these mobs. What if you live somewhere? Some of these sound not that bad. Poop party. Primal Fury. Hey, there's Raptor Rampage. What a good time that was. Also, the Sharknado fucking sucks. Oh, let's find that. Is it just called Sharknado? Satan's Claws, Sea Storm, is this it? Pick you up and drop you from the sky. Is this it? Is this Sharknado? Um, according to the official face, this is actually the result of a mass migration of Rikos as they retreat towards the world's equator. Neat. Oh no, Sharknado is a different thing. Sharknado spawns Roas, which are probably the closest the mod has to sharks. Out of whirlpools from the sky. That does sound awful. These are just terrible. Tsunamis! Also start a rainstorm. Actually, that sounds sick. If that only, if that mostly affects coasts, I'd be down for that. That sounds really cool. I am all here for net, for like natural disasters and stuff. If they're done in a way that makes sense. Um, big example, this is a really old mod mod i don't know if you guys would know what this is or not but the natural disasters mod basically created a lot of like it made like volcanoes and stuff too so like you know where a natural disaster would happen like you know where it would be risky like you're not going to build your house at the bottom of a volcano or on like a beach in this case with a tsunami like my issue is with like with eruption when I heard eruption, it made me think of exactly that, actually. The natural disaster mod. I'm like, cool. I'm not near, like, a volcano. Probably will be fine. Little did I know, it just spawns lava everywhere. Lycanites make Aurocraft a living hell. Is this part of Lycanites? Is that what this is? Like, I, I actually really like the Lycanites mod. I really do. I think there's a lot of good in it. I love all the new difficult mods. Mods? Mobs? And honestly, I'm here for some of the challenge of it, like getting one hit and having to be really careful for the most part. This stuff's just dumb, though. This stuff's silly. They, they weren't thinking that through. There's also way too many for me to memorize, which kind of sink, kind of stinks a lot, if I'm going to be honest. No, while I'm at it, while I'm at it, let's uh, let's go back to search. I'm not going to do this right, right away. Oh, shoot. Why does it never... I want to make sure that there are preset tier lists that we can use later. Um, I could just use the Repentance characters. 
Yeah, I could just use this. This would be fine. I would not use this many tiers, though. That is way too many tiers. Oh, but they have all the tainted characters. That's not a good list. We don't need that. There should be an Afterbirth Plus that I can find around. Uh, Rebirth, Afterbirth, Plus bosses. So this is one. Those are normal bosses, but that kind of works. Basically, what I want to what I want to rank is one the characters, and I definitely want to rank all of the. Basically, with if you don't know how Isaac works, is there's kind of two tiers of bosses. There are bosses that are linked to specific um, unlocks, I guess you could say, within the game. And then there are others that are just bosses that you fight on every floor, and there's always one boss at the end of every floor. So, for example, like this guy, this little worm-looking guy is just a normal boss, um, but this is like one of the endgame bosses called Mega Satan. I really wouldn't rank them together. And I'm certainly not ranking all the items. That would take so long. Devrim items, Binding of Isaac enemies. There's so many though. If you can't include bosses in an enemy tier list, who made these? All right, I think I have to make my own tier list or maybe I can edit them. Can I edit these? Can I take this and yeah, okay. So I can take these and work with them at will. That's what I'll do off stream. I'm gonna end stream here for a little while. Give me like 30 minutes to an hour. I'm gonna make set up these tier lists. I'm gonna tweet about it. And then we'll be back. Amnesia might not happen today. I might push it back further only because honestly, I feel mentally exhausted after being caught in an eruption. <laughs> and I just, I'm honestly in a rant mood and I have a lot of rants to go over with Binding of Isaac. I've been building it up. I've been building it up for the past several weeks now completing this game and I am ready. I am ready to complain. So we will we will come back to that soon. For now, I'm gonna call it. I'll tweet when I'm live again. It won't be very long. I might just grab some food, set up the tier list and we'll be good to go. Oh, sorry, I missed the message. I, I small, I saw Lycan X twice and I just assumed it was the same message. Uh, is the mod with the really weird and OP mobs? Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar. Um, I have a, I have a vague idea, and I like, I like, I'm cool with a lot of the weird and OP mobs. For the most part. There are some that are dumb. And there are many that are infuriating, but they're at least infuriating in a mostly fair way. Like the Banshees, for example. They suck to fight, but they're not broken. Like, you can fight them, you just need to know how to fight them. That sort of thing, you know? Like, big difference between difficult... And you have to log out of the game because something showed up or is happening. There we go. I, I could keep ranting about this for a while, but I, I won't. I will eat well. Thank you very much, Small. I'll be back soon, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you for hanging out. Um, we're not even going to bother to raid. We'll, we'll do a raid at the end of whatever stream I finish up on. So for now, I'm just going to end stream. I will see you guys in 30 minutes to an hour, probably. See ya.